My name is Cecilia and I live on Svalbard, an island close to the North Pole. I've lived here for about five and a half years now. My boyfriend and I bought this cabin two years ago. It's located 10 minutes away from the main village of Longyearbyen and has the most amazing views. We can see seven glaciers from our living room. We live here together with my dog Grim, and this is the story of how he became mine. This story begins when I first moved to Svalbard and started working at this place, Huset. It's a restaurant and I was the booking manager. While working here, I met Olivia, who became my colleague a few months into the job. One day she shows up to work with two of the fluffiest fluff balls I've ever seen and it was love at first sight. The end. Just kidding. Not kidding about the love at first sight though, because Grim and I found each other immediately. I started off as Grim's buddy, watching him when Olivia and her husband Einar went on vacation and such. And from here on, it just kind of escalated. So when we moved out to our cabin on Vestpinten, Grim came to live with us full time. Olivia, Einar and his brother, as in dog brother Fenris, live in a cabin just a few hundred meters away from our cabin. So they could see him anytime they wanted. Grim is quite an energetic dog and requires lots of exercise, which fit perfectly in with my lifestyle. His brother Fenris, on the other hand, is a much calmer soul who requires a lot less. I think one of the big reasons why Olivia and Aina didn't have a problem with me dognapping Grim is because they saw our bond. And also, Olivia had done the same to her neighbor's dog when she was younger. So she kind of understood the dog soulmate situation since she had been through it herself. As time went on, we all lived our best lives and we didn't really discuss a proper adoption situation. It wasn't until this year I started hinting, well, you know, asking Olivia every week, if I could adopt him. So fast forward to Grimm's birthday and what this video is about. Olivia gave me the most beautiful gift that I've ever received. So let's head in to the video. We are finally ready to go. I actually put some makeup on today and I'm of course wearing my friend's brand because I love these clothes so much. I'll link it in the bio or in the comments. Astrid Wild clothing this is. But I have packed up some stuff that I need to bring. I'm gonna bring my washing. So I'm, so I'm gonna show you where I do my washing because we're gonna wash the dogs at our friend's house where we do this washing. <laughs> You're gonna hear Grim be very impatient. So we're gonna go to the car, then we're gonna stop by Olivia's cabin, pick up the dog shampoo, and then we're gonna drive to the cafe. And I'm not sure these guys are gonna behave. When they're together, they're absolute mayhem. Grim is a sweetheart on his own. Fenris is easier on his own when it comes to other dogs. He's still a psycho, he's Cujo. So we're gonna see how that works. chaos happening. These guys need social training. Grim is good when Fenris is not here. So he freaking out now that Fenris was here. But we're taking Fenris away from this situation. <laughs> we're gonna see how it works. I think it will be fine. Why are they so dramatic? I don't know. You're fine? Look at the one-eyed husky. He's fine. So you're fine. <laughs> and after a this, a nice shower. <laughs> The most stressful day of their life. Just wear yourself out here, little buddy. Nate, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I got myself some sort of bun and a coffee, and you got chicken curry. It's pretty nice with freaking Tabasco on it because you are, you are obsessed with all of this stuff. 
We're not made the same. Hey. We've arrived, guys. So this is where I do laundry. I don't think anybody's home. Duktig kille! Hallå! Good boy! Okay, so this is our friend's apartment and he lives like a boy because there's a bicycle. But I would say this is a very typical apartment in Svalbard, don't you think? Or in Longyearbyen? I feel like this is a very typical attire in Longyearbyen. <laughs> yeah, that too. A mix of white and wood trimmings. <laughs> and just random in size. Hey, Grim. Okay, to the washing. Hey, Fendris. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you look beautiful. So maybe I should tell you guys what's going on here. <laughs> These dogs don't need showers that often because during the winter they kind of create this fat under their fur and their double coat that keeps them super warm and, you know, minus 30. So since they every day roll around in the snow, they keep their fur super fresh and that's why we don't really have to give them a bath or a shower at all during the winter up here. But since Grim's birthday party was coming up, we thought we would just give them a shower so they would be fresh and beautiful. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Oh. Okay, Fendi, just go up and shake your body. <laughs> Being beautiful! You know that this is okay. It's Looking your birthday shower. Oh, you be so fiend! <laughs> yes, you are such a good boy. The last time you had a shower, my dear, was like in August. <laughs> Here comes Oh, you look so so I am good. here we go with the oatmeal shampoo. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Go in the Okay. Yeah, put that paw inside. He's like, are you kidding me? Do you come here? Oh, no, 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 no. Come, come. Hey, 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 hey. No, no, no. Oh, no. Yeah, why should go to Queen? Talk about this entire butt in. Oh, you look so pleased with yourself. <laughs> here comes the head massage. It's the oatmeal. Oh, it smells oatmeal. so good. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so wet in here. It's so wet and I'm so sweaty. <laughs> So I've cleaned his whole apartment as a thank you for cleaning the dogs here. Look, spick and span, here's a clean dog. We put a washing on, put the towels on, and in here I'm cleaning. Venta, see? Oh my God, it's like a snowstorm. Okay. Long. Oh my God. Hi, let's get the bilen. Boys, yeah. The owner of the house. In the snowstorm. Do I should go? So the weather here is completely different than over there. Oh. <laughs> Do not rub yourself in pee or poo, please. Do we have a birthday boy in the house? Phil come. <laughs> Is it your birthday today? <laughs> Stop moving. Come. Tillbaka. Där borta. Sit. Just get in front of the camera. Thank you. Stanna. Is it your birthday today? Okay, see it? Oh my God, calm down. How old are you? If you're six years old, give me a paw. That's six years old. It's your birthday today and we're having a party. So you're gonna have your friends over and we're gonna have a cake and presents. Stop, wait. And you're gonna love it. So I think Christopher that we should take him on a walk first. And you have had your birthday shower. Oh my gosh, stop walking away. Okay, bye. 
What do you want? <laughs> Get out of the couch. We're going for a birthday walk. Somebody want to go for a birthday walk? Can you go with two? Yeah, you know that word. Can you go with two? Just let me. I'm just gonna change into my tutor gear. Yeah. I he I hear you. I hear you loud and clear, dude. Oh my god. Okay, okay. We're going on a walk. Christopher, put your pants on. We're going. Hey. Come. <laughs> You're so great at listening. It's your birthday. We got a party like it's your birthday. So I have this thing about always making gift bags <laughs> for some reason. What's it called? Like you leave with a little little gift. You just do it in everything we do and it's just enjoyable. Yes. Green. So of course our guests, there's like three other guests, are getting Grim Cup with some candy, some sweets in it. Because, why not? Because it's Grim's birthday and I feel like that's what you do. Do you smoke it? He's down here. <laughs> so. Okay. Who doesn't want a cup with some sweets in it? <laughs> and we're gonna start making uh, Grimm's cake. I'm gonna have to figure that one out. Okay. I wanna do the base with bread because I know he's not gonna eat the bread. And I don't want him to eat so much he gets all, you know, bad in the stomach. Oh, this one is, wait, I need to clean you guys. Excuse me one moment. This candy right here is very typical for Scandinavia, or I mean Sweden and Norway anyway, I'm gonna show you. That's grim. <laughs> That's how he is. You always move when you see the camera. And this is very typical Swedish and Norwegian candy. This is what it looks like. It's for your gifts. You have all these different tastes. This is like raspberry and what's it called? Licorice. Oh, this is so good. A lot of other stuff. I'm gonna put some of this in here. <laughs> but just basic licorice like this. I was getting a pair of scissors, but I walked from the kitchen with an oven mitt. So, excuse me? Somebody explain that brain, please. Okay, so everybody's coming at three o'clock. It's two, no, it's one o'clock now. And we're gonna start the fire outside so that gets really nice and hot. And then we're gonna boil the sausages because we have boils. Because these are all done. Look how cute! On the back it says Salbard. These are my merch cups. I must say that I, I just love cups though, but they are the best. Okay, so now we're just gonna do cake, fire. Make it a little bit nice. Let's go. Okay, so we're making the cake now. And this is what we're making. <laughs> because Grimmy loves sausages and he can't have much other stuff. So it's the best for him. And then we're gonna use bread in the bottom because he's not gonna eat the bread because he can't eat like huge cake. But so this is what we're working with and we have sausages and we have these that we hope we're gonna be able to use for some something. And then we have this <laughs> dog food thing. Yeah, watch us make this. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. 
Wow, look, you made it so nice for your party. Did you do all this? Oh, you did. And here we have some lovely gifts for our three guests. <laughs> hey. And then we have the fire going and we're gonna boil some sausages from there. And then Christopher moved all of our snowmobiles. So it looks a bit better. And the sun is coming around the corner. So soon we can sit here in the sunlight. Look at this. Oh, so cozy. It's gonna be such a party grim. Come. And then we have your cake. Come. Yeah, come. Oh, you forgot to send. Come here. Hi. Come. Look, it's so clean. <laughs> Look at my area. Oh. But the rest looks really -ish good. Really good is a bit of an overstatement. We have a drink and we have a Lynn. Hello, welcome to the party. Who brought Hello. a gift for Grim? You can be with the herd, eh? We different thing. Oh, how about I just water? Oh, what's in there? Okay. This is impossible. <laughs> okay. <gasps> oh, nej men titta. Oj, oj, oj. Oj, ja, okej. Okay. Du kan få en halv. This is your favorite. <laughs> Amma, ta en lopa. Fy fan, jag kommer måste råda efter det där. Vänta. Varsågod. Alltså, det här är ju. Alltså, look. It's his favorite. Oh. Jag kan inte vänta nu för det här. Hallå! Åh, oh, det största presentet. <laughs> Of course, there's a package incoming. What you got there? What you got there, girls? Do you forget about that? Oh, it's so fantastic. What is a son? A son is for the time filled with memories of childhood, with fun and sky, with best friends and small friends, and now with all the fun and new joy. Did you get him? Did you get him? Det är Irish, Irish, vad du vill ha. Vad kolla! Oj! Direkt, kom igen! Kom, kolla vad gott! Om nom nom nom! Fy fan, också näser. Och så sänger vi paket för någonting. Vad är det? Jag ska inte komma typ gråta. Oh my god, Grimm's Park! I'm here again, I'm a street fighter. What is Grimm's Park? Don't you mind! Olivia told me I could adopt Grimm. I of course offered to pay for him. But what she asked me to do instead was to make a donation to one of her favorite charities, The Big Fix Uganda. So I went to their website and set up a monthly donation plan. This organization operates as the only veterinary hospital in northern Uganda and have so far helped over 75,000 animals in this impoverished and war-torn region. So if you would like to go make a donation in Grimm's adoption honor, that would be incredible. Every single dollar helps. I've linked everything in the description below, and I hope you go and just help out if you can. For Corv Dotta. Then we did best stuff. Oh my god, we worked so hard on this! Look, but they didn't have any. Wait a little bit. What are those other things? We did dental sticks, Corv. Sausages, dentistics, yeah. some sort of pate for dogs. Okay. Mm. 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 Mm.
Det er jo så kjult. Nå, vær så god. Ikke meg, ikke sånn. Hva er det her? Er det korve? Få gå på korve. Det blir bra. Hva heter det? Cabrolier? Jeg har ikke hatt det fucken. Jeg liker cake. Det er så stort her. Grimbjørn. Han sa at det ene går å kjøpe, men... Så det blir precis som vi skal bygge her, da. Så det var Grims sikste birthday party. Så takk så mye for å hengene med oss i dag. And I'm just so happy that I got to adopt him. And I mean, nothing really changes. I see Olivia and Fenris and Einar all the time. It's just, you know, that it's more official than before. So I'm incredibly happy. And thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to get notifications on when I post. And I look forward to putting up new videos soon. Bye. Love you guys.